हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सेकंड पी यू एकोनॉमिक्स क्लास इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आइसो पॉइंट्स राइट सो आइसो पॉइंट्स इज द सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू इनपुट्स व्हिच इज सेम मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल लेवल ऑफ आउटपुट वंस अगेन आई रिपीट वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आइसो पॉइंट्स आइसो पॉइंट्स इज द सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू इनपुट्स Which yields or that yields same maximum possible level of output. Which yields same maximum possible level of output. So in that we discussed the diagram and also we understood that with the help of an example. Okay. So now we are going to discuss another important topic that is short run and long run. Short run. and long run so these are very important two concepts one is short run another one is long run so what purpose we have to study about this the short run and the long run the short run and the long run these concepts more helpful to the further topics what we are going to discuss so for that uh, for that sake only we have to study short run and long run so first topic we have to discuss what is the meaning of short run okay short run is the short time period is nothing but short time is the short run is the short time period otherwise we can say like that so the time period the time period in which factors the time period in which factors of production cannot be vary cannot be vary okay this you have to understand in the factors of production actually there are two types under that first one is fixed factor and another one is variable factor so fixed factor means for example land machinery okay so factory so these are all called what we can say that is called only fixed factor because land is an uh, immobility we cannot uh, shift from one place to another place that's why land is fixed factor but labor and capital we can change it can maybe vary so that's why that variables that factors called as variable factors okay so in the short run we cannot change all the factors of production but we can change only few factors in the short run like in the short time period we cannot change all the factors of production okay but the factors of production like land labor capital organization okay in this land is a fixed factor because it is an immobility we cannot uh, shift from one place to another place under the short run like in the short time we cannot change all the factors of production see in the short run at least one of the factor one of the factor labor capital cannot be varied we cannot change the capital but we can change only labor within short time we cannot change the land we cannot change the capital okay but we can change only one factor that is labor we can change only labor how we can change the labor in short time in short period we can for example we can uh, decrease we can decrease number of labors uh, from uh, 50 to 30 right and also we can decrease from number of labors from uh, 30 to 20 or 20 to 10 right but we cannot change increase or decrease which one capital we cannot change the land within the short time within the short time in the factors of production there are two types one is fixed factor another one is variable factor those which are fixed 
those factors which are fixed they are called as fixed factors those which can be changed which can be changed they are called as variable factors actually here uh, in the short run labor is variable factor and remaining all fixed factors in within the short time we cannot change all the factors of production but only we can change number of labors either uh, uh, we can see even when uh, it is not possible to increase the scale of production in the short run for example we can uh, we suppose we are producing like uh, shoes we can produce 50 shoes to 60 we can change start time only 10 products but not possible to produce 50 to 50,000 or 5,000 it is not possible but we can uh, produce 50 to 60 right otherwise fixed uh, like uh, 50 to 100 we can produce we are already we are producing 50 in the short run we can produce maybe from 50 to 100 but not possible to produce 5000 okay because in the short run not possible to change all the factors of production we can change only few factors what are they for example we can change raw materials right we can change labor we can increase or decrease the number of labors and also we can change shift of the work maybe first shift second shift like that so we can change raw materials labor but not possible to change land capital organization okay in the short run we can change only only one factor can be changed either raw materials labor even electricity how much we need whether either increase or decrease okay electricity so raw materials may be increase or decrease labor may be increase or decrease electricity may be increase or decrease but it is highly impossible to change land capital organization so we can change only labor in the short run short run is nothing but it's a small time period small time period otherwise we can say like it's a time period it's a time period in which some factors of production or which uh, factors of production cannot be varied we can say like which some which some factors of production cannot be varied but we can change only one factor for example labor okay so remaining what uh, which factors are fixed those which factors are fixed they are called as fixed uh, fixed factors those which factors can be varied they are called as variable factor because through the variable factor also we can increase or decrease the production the output definitely will be increased if any one input either increase definitely the production will be increased if any one in input will be decreased when output also decrease so like this when other inputs are fixed they are called as fixed factors only one factor is variable they are called as variable factors so in the short run we can change only raw material labor electricity and uh, fixed factors these are called as uh, variable factors these are called as variable these are variable factors then what about the fixed factors the fixed factors are fixed factors are land machinery like uh, building we cannot change in the short term we cannot change in the short term even capital we cannot change see within short term it is not possible to purchase more land or uh, uh, it is not possible to shift because uh, land is immobility even it is not possible to uh, change the machinery there are all fixed factors even building is not possible to demolish uh, as soon as possible and it is not possible to uh, like build as much as as much, as soon as possible it is not possible so in the short run we cannot change these factors of production but we can change only variable factors we can change raw materials like labor number of labors may be increase or decrease but not possible much uh, either we can uh, shift uh, change the shift say for example in the short run we can produce from 50 shirts to 100 shirts but not 5000 or not 50000 okay so in the short run we can change only few factor 
okay, are only one factor. Remaining all are fixed. In the short term, you can observe variable, fixed factors and also variable factors. So in the short run, we cannot change the scale of production. Little bit can be changed, but not possible to change all the factors and not possible to change the complete output. Okay, we should change only few factors. Only few factor. For example, raw materials, labor, electricity. Okay, this is called as short run. Okay, next another one is long run. Don't forget, in the short run, we cannot change all the factors of production. We can change only few factors, remain all fixed factors. In uh, short run, we can see both variable factor and also fixed factor because land, then uh, capital, building, machinery, these are all fixed factors. Only labor, raw material, electricity, we can say variable factors. Next is long run. So long run means that is long time period. Long run means long time period. Maybe years, five years or ten years, like this. So here, in this long run, all the factors of production can change or can be vary can be vary okay in the long run we can say like that long run here all the factors of production can change that is land i said before only it is not possible to shift from one place to another place but we can purchase more land to produce goods and services right in the long run we can purchase more land but in short run not possible to purchase not possible to take more okay land labor capital and organization okay so here under the long run all the factors of production can be change okay all the factors of production can be change can be vary here there is no fixed factors there is no fixed factors in the short run only one or few factors we can see fixed like uh, variable factor remaining all fixed factors but in the long run there is no fixed factors here under the long run we can change all the factors of production all the factors of production okay land is land is fixed factor in short run right land is fixed factor in the short run it become variable factor it becomes variable factor in the long run okay, like this all the factors of production can be changed in long run long run is nothing but long time period and also you can change the scale of production in the long run you can change the scale of production in the long run i think i hope uh, you clear about the meaning of which one short run and long run simple in the short run we can change only few factors of production, not possible to change all the factors of production. In the short run, we can observe two types of factors of production. One is fixed factor and another one is variable factor. So in the variable factor, we can observe like uh, raw materials, labors, even electricity. In the fixed factor, like uh, land, capital, uh, machinery, buildings, those factors which can be vary, they are called as variable factors those factors which can be fixed they are called as fixed factors in the short run not possible to change all the factors of production only we can change few factors of production okay in the long run it's a long time period in this 
we can change all the factors of production we can change all the factors of production so in the long run we can uh, uh, change all the factors of production so in this there is no fixed factor there is no fixed factors completely all the factors of production are can be changed all the production all the factors of production can be changed all the factors of production can be changed okay this is the meaning of short run and long run okay now we shall uh, we should discuss very important topics after this total product average product marginal product very important for further explanation of the topics we need to understand meaning and formulas about the total product average product marginal product i hope you can understand easily through the help of short run and long run and already you discussed in uh, second chapter of uh, microeconomics in the consumer behavior total utility marginal utility right okay now we have to discuss about which one total product average product marginal product understand the meaning of total product so total product is the sum of marginal product simple total product is the sum of marginal product sum of marginal product in other words we can say like that it is the total product Uh, it indicates the it indicates the value of value of goods and services it indicates the value of goods and services produced during the specified period of time total product it indicates the value of goods and services produced during the specified period of time okay like in a particular year how many goods and services produced in a country that is only we can explain total product otherwise uh, a firm how much is produced in a particular year a firm or a factory how much goods and services produced in a uh, like a particular period of time that is only can explain the total product okay <coughs> total product sorry total product it is explains the relationship between input and output input and output how for example it is explains the variable input and output it explains the which one the total uh, product explains the relationship between relationship between variable input and output which one total product explains the relationship between variable input and output 
for example if suppose if we change only one factor in the production process remaining all keep constant imagination just we are changing only one factor we are changing only one factor remaining all factors kept like uh, keep constant keep constant on that time what will happen definitely when a one unit also one unit of input also when we are changing that time definitely there will be changes in the output definitely there will be changes in the output so when keeping the like uh, for example we can say like that if we vary single input if we vary single input keeping constant all the inputs like uh, keep all, all other inputs are constant keep all other inputs are constant only we are changing single input for understanding if we vary a single input keeping all inputs are constant okay and that time for the different level of input for the different level of input we get different level of output or understanding suppose if we change a single input keeping constant all other inputs or understanding just we have to change we are changing only single unit of input we are changing only single input keeping constant of all other inputs that time for the different levels of input we can get different levels of output so that's why i said only because of variable factor the output will be changed only because of variable factor because of only variable factor the output will be changed so that is only called as it explains total product explains the relationship between variable input and output okay if any one input change keeping all inputs are constant that time what will happen in the output definitely there will be changes in the output so that is called only total product that is called only total product Are understanding it is sum of the marginal product total product explains the relationship between relationship between variable input and output why because suppose if we change only one input keeping constant of all other inputs for the different levels of variable input for the different levels of variable input definitely we can get different levels of output when the inputs increasing output also increasing when the inputs are decreasing when output also decreasing that's why total product explains the relationship between variable input and output okay so in other words we can say like that it indicates the volume of goods and services produced volume of goods and services produced otherwise we can say like it indicates the total value okay it indicates the total value of goods and services like quantity you can say like the quantity total value of goods and services produced during the specified period of time in a particular time period in a particular time period so that is only we can understand the like uh, total product total product indicates the total value of goods and services produced during the specified period of time in a particular year okay so this is called as total product okay up to this is enough and remaining average product and uh, marginal product i will explain in next class thank you